Mendoza is an amazing city in Argentina, famous for its one-of-a-kind vineyards. Here are the seven best wineries you should visit anytime you're in town. You sure should stay until the end of this video, because we'll reveal a winery you can't afford to miss anytime you are in Argentina. Number 7. Vistalba A trip to Roque Saenz Peña 3531 in Mendoza will lead you to the beautiful and unique Bodega Vistalba, which is nothing like any winery you've ever been to. What makes this place so different is the winemaking process, which doesn't use pumps like most wineries, but employs the magic of gravity. This is done using an underground winery, with the tasting room also underground. Surely, you can pair the tasty wines from Vistalba with the lovely meals at the La Borgogna restaurant, where you'll get excellent services as well. As most visitors would testify, Bodega Vistalba features top-of-the-line facilities with vineyards that are surrounded by a magnificent landscape. The Corte A wine tasting package in this winery is highly recommended when you visit, but feel free to try the Corte B and C packages to form your own opinion. What's more, the vineyards are a great place for a romantic walk as it provides the perfect scene for a relaxing moment with your significant other. Also, they have amazing guides who don't just reel out memorized speeches, but will show you how much they love the wineries and who want to share experiences with you. Number 6. Familia Zucardi Located in Maipu, a city on the outskirts of Mendoza, is a bodega that has established a name as one of the largest and most reputable wineries in this lovely city. The Familia Zucardi, which is run by top winemaker Sebastian Zucardi, boasts of several attractions, including the vast vineyard where you can spend a full day biking in bliss. A tour here will give you insider knowledge of the winemaking process, which ends with some lovely wine tasting. This bodega is also arguably the best place to get some high-quality olive oil in town, as they have their thriving olive grove. Of course, the wine is fantastic, and many reviewers will agree to this fact. Be sure to leave with a few bottles from the stylish shop available on the premises of the winery when going, and you won't regret your decision. Visitors are particularly impressed by the work that goes into researching the best ways to produce top-notch wines and the breathtaking architecture of the Familia Zucardi facility and restaurant. And I'm sure you'll be too. Moreover, you can end your day with a tasty Italian lunch to complete the beautiful experience. Number 5. Casa Arena Casa Arena can only be the perfect name for this winery that features earth-toned stucco around the winery's outer area. This place was originally built about a century ago. However, the family winery was renovated and reopened in 2007. Ever since then, the owners have opened the doors of Casa Arena to people from far and wide to taste their unique collections of wine while enjoying the beautiful city of Luján de Cusho, where it is located. So if you're ever at Branson 505, you should stop by the Casa Arena Bodega for the wine tasting experience of a lifetime. Tours to this fantastic city are often available from Mondays to Saturdays, and many visitors highly recommend the restaurant. It sure is the perfect place to pair the high-quality wines of Casa Arena with a tasty lunch. Plus, you can settle in at the beautiful outdoor patio, where you'll also enjoy spectacular views. However, be sure to book a reservation beforehand as they get a lot of traffic. Number 4. Bodega Ruca Malen No doubt about it, the Bodega Ruca Malen put a lot of thought and planning into making sure that every visitor leaves its premises with a unique experience and beautiful stories to tell. One of the ways they achieve this is by making the menu strictly seasonal. That means that every three months, they present an updated menu with the meals paired with five specific wines. So when you visit the Bodega Ruca Malen, you're sure to get a combination of tasty wine and excellent food. That's five courses to tantalize your taste buds while you admire the impressive view of the vineyard. 
you also get to enjoy views of the mountains that spread beautifully around. Surely, the highlight of your visit will be the guided tour through the winery, where an experienced guide will give you lots of details about the Bodega Ruca Malen from the winery's history to the wine production itself. Take this from someone who has witnessed the blending class at this winery. You can rest assured that it's definitely worth joining and is going to be a lot of fun. So you should free up some time and head over to enjoy lunch with freshly prepared wine while also enjoying unforgettable views at the Ruca Malen. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 3. Domaine Bousquet It is no longer news that family-owned wineries in Argentina have been a hit for centuries, and that's not changing anytime soon. This is little wonder, as the Domaine Bousquet is one of the best wineries in Mendoza, where you can discover fantastic wine unlike anything you've ever had. The owners of this winery hail from France and are on a mission to provide the perfect combination of the European style of winemaking with the cool terrain of the Uco Valley, where Domaine Bousquet is located. So what should you expect from a tour to this winery in Tupungato of Mendoza? Well, let's start with the wine tasting experience itself. You'll be presented with three lines of wine, and many reviewers have revealed how difficult it is to pick a favorite. Indeed, they are all absolutely amazing. After the fun and educational tour of the vineyards, round up your day with a visit to Gaia Restaurant for a four or six course meal, paired with your choice of wine. Number two, Bodega Terrazas de los Andes. Located in Luján de Cucho, Terrazas de los Andes is a vast vineyard that houses a wide variety of grapes grown exclusively to produce wine that leaves a lasting positive taste. One of the first things you'll notice about this cleverly positioned winery is the breathtaking views it offers. And if you're a picture freak, then this is an absolute paradise. Terrazas de los Andes is named after the terraces where the grapes are grown. And during your tour, the guide will let you choose the wines you want to taste. This makes it an even better experience as you don't have glasses of wine shoved in your face without paying attention to your preferences. Meanwhile, a super interesting fact about this bodega is that it's located next to a much older bodega, built around 1898. However, this area in Mendoza experienced a devastating earthquake about a century ago that brought the old bodega down. Thankfully, it wasn't demolished, but left as a sharp yet beautiful contrast to the Terrazas de los Andes, an interesting clash between the old and the new. Number 1. Salentain Los Arboles in Tenushin, where Bodega Salentain is located, has extremely deep religious roots, which are reflected in the shape of the winery. The structure is an elegant shape of the cross that doesn't just serve as a symbol, but was also cleverly designed to increase production. Well, the guide will be very willing to explain how this architecture was seamlessly integrated into the overall production quality of the winery. Meanwhile, the views of the vineyards and mountains are some of the best you'll find in Mendoza, especially as the winery sits perfectly in the middle of the vineyards. The cellar has an impressive 5,000 barrel capacity, while the winery doubles as a gallery that houses exclusive Argentine art collections. Indeed, this is a delight to behold and can only be matched by the amazing three-course meal available for your pleasure at the winery's restaurant. As reviewers will often say, it's a bucket load of breathtaking experiences. Click this video over here for more tips while traveling in Argentina.